guess you could say I was the chief uh, uh, the chief moderator for the Internet Islands panel when we were in uh, at IGF USA. So uh, I can tell you from that experience and the research that we did to prepare for it that there are already some ways in which the unitary Internet, as we know it has, and as we have known it historically, is being islandized, if you will, okay? Uh, that said, it's clearly not our goal. I mean, everyone benefits to the extent that there is one open playing field that we can all, that we can all, all get on. Imagine if, imagine if you, you know, if, if, if my email wouldn't reach you, or if my email had, if we had to have some sort of an agreement between our, between our email uh, 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 providers, it, would, it, would just, it makes no sense. I mean, so I think that there is some possibility for islandization. Um, we identified four reasons. You know, part of it may be as a result of, of non-democratic governments who want to suppress data, suppress opposition. There are people who are trying to do it because they want to preserve their culture and they're concerned it's going to die out. Uh, there are some people who, you know, they're, they're firms that want to bring their customers closer to them and also people who are concerned about security. All of those are very, very, they're understandable phenomena, but uh, I am hoping that the net will probably be about like it is five years from now. I think it's hard to say that it, that it could be much opener than it is at this stage.